Welcome back, mathematicians, and thank you guys for checking in for another day of math with Miss Carter. Yesterday, we talked about telling time to the half hour, and last week, we learned how to tell time to the hour. I want to see what you guys remember from yesterday and last week by giving some times, and you guys help me to figure out how to set my clock, okay? So remember, when a new hour is starting on our clock, where should our minute hand be? I heard someone say it. It should be on the 12. That's correct. When the new hour starts, we're going to have our blue hand, the longest hand on our clock, the minute hand, on the 12. And when we say it's half past two o'clock, for example. If I were to say it was half past two o'clock, that means it is 30 minutes past two o'clock. So it's halfway past the hour. And we know an hour is 60 minutes. So halfway through an hour is 30 minutes. Using our doubles again, okay? Three plus three makes six. 30 plus 30 makes 60, all right? So where would my minute hand be if I said it was half past two o'clock? Right, it's going to be on my six. My clock is doing some little funny things today, but it's going to be right there on my six, okay? When our minute hand is on the six, remember that your hour hand or the red hand on this clock needs to be between the hour that we're saying and the next hour. So I said 2.30, so my hour hand should have been between the two and the three. You just wanna keep that in mind, okay? Also keep in mind that your hour hand does not touch that number. It doesn't touch that number, but your minute hand can touch it, okay? So let's get started. It is 9.30. How am I gonna show 9.30 on my clock? Do I start with my minutes? Do I start with the hour? Where do I start? Well, I'm going to start with my hour because we say the hour first, so I'm going to do the hour first. And I know that it's 9.30, so I'm going to point my hour hand in between the 9 and the next hour, which is 10. Exactly. 10 is the next hour. So I'm going to point my hour hand right in between that 9 and 10 on the clock. Now, where should my minute hand go? It's 9.30. Half of my hour is already gone. So my minute hand should be like this, directly on the 6. And that's where your minute hand is going to be every time that someone says it's something 30. 2, 33, 34, 30, and so on and so on. Whenever they say 30, it's there. And let me ask a question. Why do we put our minute hand on the 6? Why not the 10? Why not the 8? Exactly. Because when we count by fives, when we get to that 6, we're at 30. And each number on the clock, we're going to count by fives for. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Halfway through our clock, okay? So we're here. We did halfway. And then we have another half to go. Oh, that's why we stop on the 6. If I stopped on the 10 and I kept counting my 5s, that would be 50. If I stopped on the 8, that would be 40. So right on that 6 is where it's 30. And that's half of my hour. Let's try another time. What about 11.30? It's 11.30. It's time for lunch. Time for us to clean up our centers and go to lunch. What is my clock going to look like? Right, we're gonna start with our hours. So I said 11. Am I gonna point my hour hand right at 11? No, because it's halfway through that hour. So I wanna get closer to the next hour, okay? So I'm putting my hour hand in between the 11 and the 12. Now where's my minute hand going to go? Right, it's gonna stay right on that six to show my 30 minutes. And this is what my clock is going to look like. 
It's in between 11 and the next hour. And my minute hand is on that six. Because I counted 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. While I'm thinking about it, when I'm counting by fives, do I start at the 12 or do I start at the 1? Hmm, I heard some different answers. Some people said 12 and some people said 1. Guess what? If you said 1, you're right. 12 is the start of a new hour. So it's basically like saying I'm at 0. 0, 0. So on my digital clock, it would look like two zeros here, right? Because that's starting anew. But when by the time I get to this one, I'm at five. That would look like zero, five on my digital clock. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If I started counting by fives at the 12, this six would now be 35. And that's not halfway through my hour anymore. That is a little bit more than half. So I want to be halfway through my hour and I start at the one. Okay? Let's try one more time together before I send you guys off to practice. We're going to say that it's 1.30. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and it's time to go to specials. Okay? How am I going to show this on my clock? 1.30. Again, we're going to start with what? Right, our hour. We said it first, we do it first. Let's just get in the habit of that. Whatever we say first, we do first. I said one first, I'm going to do one first. So 1.30. I know that it's 30 minutes, and that's going to bring me closer to the next hour. So I'm going to go between the 1 and the 2. Right, because 2 comes after 1. Right. Good thinking, guys. And my minute hand is going to go where? Exactly, right back on that six. My clock is gonna look, uh-oh, my clock fell over. It's gonna look a little like this. Our hour is between the one and the two. This is the hour that it's on, that's the hour that it's going to, and it's at that 30 minute mark there. And then we'll just keep going until this goes down to the two, and that goes to 12, to start a new two o'clock hour. You guys have been doing really, really well with telling time. And I'm sorry that we're not in the classroom to practice this all together, but I see your hard work. Today, you have to do some work on your own, and you're going to do work in your workbooks on page 132. I can't wait to see your work, and I know you guys will do great. Thank you for checking in with Math Miss Carter. Bye!